What is up, YouTube? Uh, I don't know. Don't have a really good intro for this time. But uh, if you've been wondering, I haven't made a video in a really long time. No surprise. Uh, but really, it's because uh, I've been working on some stuff. Here's uh, something I've been working on. It's for an independent company that I work for uh, in my town. Here's the text in Cinema 40. Um... And here's the actual image, I guess. I just wanted to show it to you. I don't know why. Because I really don't have anything else to show you. Besides this tutorial that I'm about to do. Um, came out pretty pretty smooth. Uh, but anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the Mac OS X style stacks. If you don't know what stacks is, it's basically... Um, I don't know how to explain it. Let me just show you this clip. Okay, now you understand what Stacks is. All right, cool. Um, to download this, you go to their website. Link will be in the description. It's uh, alastria.com forward slash software forward slash seven stacks. This works for Windows Seven. Windows Vista and XP, but uh, I don't know how that would work in Vista and XP because I've never tried it, and nor will I try it. But if you tried it for XP or Vista, please leave a comment and see how it works out. Tell me how it works out. Um, but yeah, you just go over here on the side and click download. You just run the setup like nothing, and you get an icon like this. So I'm gonna double click on the icon. And it says folder to use for stacks. What folder do you want? Now, uh, I want to pick. A it has to be a folder you have like software in or something. But for me, I don't know. I'll put. Uh, I guess my pictures. Click OK. Name it whatever you want. Type of stack. I like vertical stack because it just goes vertical. I'll show you right now. Uh. The font icon size to be pretty big. Icon, you could choose an icon from uh, the shell 32, but uh, I'm gonna type in image res dll because that one has way better uh, images. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick a random image. Maybe here's something, it's just my dog randomly licking things on my bed like a creep. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna pick this icon and uh, create shortcut to desktop, and there it is right here. So I'm uh, I'm not gonna exit out. So you just drag it onto your desk or to your toolbar. You click on it. This comes out, and it opens up. It, you this I like this better for uh. What you call it for when you have programs in a. Uh, in a folder, this works like that. Uh, here are for all my pictures, my portfolio, Photoshop files, my scans, my Modern Warfare 2 pics, Cinema 4D files, buttons, icons, wallpapers, textures, shit like that. Uh, I'm just gonna unpin it to show you what else is there. Delete it. I'll show you um, grid. Create. Drag it on here. Click on it. That's grid. I like grid. Looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the grid. Uh, you can go to your library, check out all your pictures, and go back. You can go to your Cinema 4D file. Oh, that's what I'm doing. It's going to my Cinema 4D files. Go back. Portfolio go back then you can click right here to open it in Explorer and there you go uh, but yeah that's how you get stacks for Windows 7 it's I know it's not a hundred percent alike uh, but you know that's stacks for you for Windows 7 I hope you enjoy this tutorial uh, please give it a thumbs up because I just randomly found this uh, <laughs> But yeah, please give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, 
as much as you can, like it as much as you can, comment it as much as you can, and yeah. So I'll catch you guys later, and peace.